Dude, police station courtyard indicates to me we're about to play basketball. I have to know. I'd work good and hard on the investigation. It's so snowing! Now I just wanted to relax and play some b ball. And also settle the school We'll see. Let's do it. He has a cigarette behind his ear. I don't even want to talk about how he warped through the screen. The more I see you play, Jeffrey, the more I think you should take up chess. Oh! Ho -ho! <laughs> if you're a bad, I'm your dad. This is just a preview of what's gonna happen to Mathis when he goes to that Smash tournament in August. <laughs> that's that's assault, man. Come on, that's that's what Sigourney Weaver does in Alien Resurrection. You d up pretty good for a white cop. Excuse me. You d up pretty well for a white cop. Racism solved. <laughs> I get the feeling I've seen that guy somewhere before. Hmm. Almost as if he's been a metaphor in every single game that David Cage has ever released. Oh, it's a Dutch angle! I actually feel like I can't look at the screen. I don't think I've ever been cages? given nausea so quickly. Does it- people who don't suffer from motion sickness, uh, does this enjoy you? I can't even speak English because of nausea! Agatha? Why do you want to talk to Agatha? Um, uh, for help. I was told. Like, help me help. remember who you are? One need not have eyes to see. You could just ask. I <laughs> It'll be more comfortable for us to. Probably talk. the rudest way to, uh, to try to discover if somebody is blind. Oh, thanks for the one-ups. You dumb bitch! <laughs> I'm out! Oh. Uh, <laughs> Just open the door with her face. In the cupboard, you will find a little bag of seeds. Be a good boy. Feed some to my little darlings, will you? Like, these birds exist exclusively thanks to the parade of weirdos that come into her apartment looking for guidance, I suppose. Are you able to attach anything concrete to your vision? It's like a Cosmo a quiz. Or sign. What's your work? ideal Saturday? Yeah, control of myself. A After day at the beach with my hunky boyfriend my who looks like life. Zac Efron. A night on the town to the hottest clubs in the city. Two open jaws. Oh dear God. <laughs> Please. Push me into the sitting room. <laughs> is that where her crystal braille is? <clears throat> it is always in the last place you look. Wow, he's just like... No respect for the candlestick. Just yoink it down there. Okay, close the curtains. Appreciate the god rays, to be honest. Oh, wow! That it has a really dramatic uh, effect. Excuse me, could you tell me again what I'm supposed to do? <laughs> Turn off the light. Oh, my close mistake. The curtains. And sit down next to me. I forgot to turn off the light. But what if I just told her that I turned off the light? The only way to understand what has happened to you is, is to, to, try to go deep. Give me the three digits memory. on the back of your credit card. Was, I want you to return to the restaurant just before the events began. Evacuate all extraneous thoughts and wonder. Um... What on earth is happening? I've gone into the restaurant. <laughs> what do you see? Other game designers are hacks. They would just have you walk into the restaurant. The waitress. For David, we gotta input... 45 timing-based Simon puzzles. I'm in the restroom. And so is the other man. What's he doing? He's urinating. He well, doesn't suspect anything. It is a David Cage game. And I'm in the restaurant dining room again. We I only had enough budget to model table. three environments, lady. Yes, I am. I can see. Unless myself. otherwise mentioned, I am in the restaurant. Doing, Lucas? I'm eating. I'm eating and reading a book. 
a book. Yes. Shakespeare. The Tempest. Oh, so a play, you mean. As I told thee before, I um. am subject to a tyrant. A sorcerer that by his cunning hath cheated me of the island. What did you say? It's a passage from Shakespeare's Tempest. That's what you're reading, is it not? Are you a, yes. a Star Wars droid? No comment. The waitress has brought him his coffee. But she's talking to me as if I was the one who ordered it. Hmm. She doesn't know that he's there. She can't see him. I hadn't derived that up to this point. Happening. I appreciate the explicit explanation. Listen, I don't want to be rude, but I'd rather eat alone. <laughs> you know who that man was, don't you, Agatha? No. I don't know. I'm not sure who he is. Yes, you do know who he is. You understood it all as soon as you felt the scars on my arms. What do these symbols mean, Agatha? I have to verify certain things. There's nothing more I can tell you today. Come back tomorrow night at the same time. I'll explain more then. It's called pacing, sweetheart. Look it up. <laughs> yeah, look, this guy is like <laughs> one guy, little recoil, one arm. The other guy is like bracing himself in a power stance and is still hitting him in the forehead on every single shot. Yo, it's actually the reload is John Wick, dude. <laughs> So, what do you want to know about the Kirsten case? I've proven well, my instance, my street cred. What exactly happened? A guy named Kirsten's calmly shopping in his local supermarket, He's in the kitchen accessories aisle, when someone picks up a knife and stabs him to death. The killer then used the knife to carve some symbols on his own forearms. I don't know why he does body language. Just freaking like me out. Carves some symbols on his own circle. forearms. Excellent target. <laughs> there had been other killings with the same profile. You mean where the killer had the same bizarre MO and stuck around afterwards? Exactly. Oh no. Please! Oh, dude! That was a great segue. I was scared, but they, uh, they brought it back. Excuse me, uh, where's my telephone? My name is Lucas. I've forgotten the location of my telephone. Lucas Kane. These dang robo calls, dude. <laughs> oh, Lord. This was highly unexpected. My man is fighting his own apartment. I will say this is a good lesson in why you should pick up your own film. Cut nailed it, dude. Oh, yes, this did come out after the Matrix. This is what Vancouverites think three inches of snow feel like. Oh, watch out. If you got hit by that, they might play some more Theory of a Dead Man. Just absolutely unbelievable. His cabinets are coming off the walls. And it never ends. I just, I, I'm absolutely flabbergasted by what is happening right now. I have no comment whatsoever. Now I realize why his apartment had so many boxes.
But I have to pee! How will they know I'm a real human character if I don't urinate? This is me, Champions of Fire 1, 2017. Is that all you got? Come on. Sorry, I never liked that phase anyway. <laughs> it never ends, dude. Oh my lord. If you had told me that this scene existed, I would have disbelieved you. I would have thought it was one of those things where the internet was being a little bit hyperbolic. Actually playing it for myself in the moment. Uh, it, I feel like I'm living history right now. Oh no. <laughs> Please. I only have one life remaining. I can't bear to do this again. Thank God I took that lady's rose. That Vincent Price uh, at the end of Thriller. I had to see him to talk to him. I had to find out what. Little does he know, him. my apartment building doesn't exist like anymore. And hear the truth. By the way, it's a law. If you're a priest, you have to wear your collar literally at all times. Lucas! Oh my God! <laughs> Extremely long live the king moment. Well, brother, you're never gonna believe this one. <laughs> you ever have one of those situations where Lucas, your own apartment God starts sake. attacking you? Ah. Uh, it's me, David. David! <laughs> David, why? Why? Hold on, you can't answer the phone until you take a piss, Carla. Oh, I forgot. You're a, uh, you're a lady. Your bathrooms don't have toilets. I mean... Citizen Cage? Does it even need to be said? Ah, yes. Sorry, this... Hey, have some decency! We're not gonna show a lady pissing in our game. Omicron, the first part of the trilogy beats all records. This, this is David's first game. Last weekend, the first part of the Omicron trilogy broke all box office records. Every single one of them. The grand scale science fiction saga succeeded in rousing the enthusiasm of both the general public and the critics, so much so that it is already being listed as a major favor for the Oscars. I'm particularly pleased that the response to my film said David Cage the French director adapting a video game for film is a major challenge Jackson Peters in perfect in person declared that he was particularly impressed by the visual originality of the film oh I was feeling kind cool of guy pose and thought as my official friendly neighbor you'd agree to share my boredom and this excellent bottle of French Chablis that is your, your piss, neighbor, I brother. I, <laughs> I told you to stop bringing your piss myself. over here. There is a scene like this in every Quantic Dream game as well. David respects the 
gastronomic experience. Are you with anyone? Well, actually, I did meet someone two weeks ago. He's very real and very nice. Oh. And he works in a bank, too. I think this time it could My be mistake, David is woke. I always thought that people in New York didn't give a damn about gayness. They were so enlightened. How wrong I was. They still look at us as being different from so-called normal folks. Tommy, I think you should go home. I don't like where this conversation's going. I don't trust Quantic Dream to handle this with the nuance it warrants. Enough small talk. Look at what I brought. No, I don't want to play commander with you. Okay, Mr. Gypsy. Yikes. Tell me what I'm supposed to do. It's easy. First take the cards and mix them up. <laughs> we don't use that word anymore, David. Amazing. I want this card. <laughs> David, please. <laughs> I can't escape the nudity. Take two more cards. I would rather not. Carla, I think we'll stop there. I'm sorry, I don't know what happened. It's the first time I've ever read this sort of thing. Usually don't express anything like this. Don't apologize, Tommy. It's just a silly game. Just a dang old Luigi board, brother. Well, I've got well, to go. it's Late. time to get a watch. Uh, See, so no, you can keep the cards. Don't worry about it. I like how it looks like you have to put your badge into the computer to get it to turn on. Oh, man, nothing but stock quotes. How can anyone possibly decipher these things? They are... Yo, Wait. Malthus! That's it. I gotta call Carla right away. The Malthus Corp is down 4.5%. <laughs> Carla, we gotta buy Malthus. It's the dip. Hello? It's a list of stock quotes, Carla. Our bookmark was printed in a bank. Because his partner works at the bank. I'm really sorry to bother you, Tommy. Mm. I wasn't ready for bed yet anyway. Normally, yeah, banks always use watermarked paper. Duh. Which shows the bank's ID code. Oh. <laughs> yeah, man, he really paid attention on their date. That's it. <laughs> well, you see, the thing about banks is they always print stock quotes on watermarked paper, and the watermark contains the unique bank ID. Okay, you gotta pick up the piece of paper. That is not how you look. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got it. I've got the code. You should have no trouble identifying which bank it corresponds to. This time we've got our killer. I think I'll pay a little visit to the bank tomorrow. You want me to go? Yes, obviously. Okay, you go. We'll meet afterwards at the We're station. We're arresting a murder suspect. See you tomorrow, Tyler. Nah, I don't think we're gonna need you. Hello, Detective Taylor Miles, New York Police. Taylor? The police, they found me. Did he just get his own name wrong? Hello, I'm Detective Tyler Miles, New York Police. Are you Lucas Kane? I've just got a couple of questions for you. Here's a question for you, brother. You got a warrant? <laughs> oh, no! Taylor, look out! This remind you of anyone? Uh, <laughs> no comment. Nobody you know. His forearms are bandaged. I wonder what happened to him. Ah, uh, you know. Did something happen to your arms? Sorry, I'm a Taekwondo instructor. Oh, I had a stupid accident doing some home repair work. I guess I'm not much of a Mr. Fix-It guy. <laughs> Sliced up. Hey, is that you in the picture? Both of my forearms. Is he a friend of yours? All the way from the wrist to the elbow. That's my brother, Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> that is not my brother Marcus, by the way. Yo, he's lying straight up. I can smell it. Damn, maybe this is our guy right here. I better take a quick look inside his desk before he gets back. This is. Uh, we don't have probable man. cause. There ought to be some Yoink! On it. That'll make it easy to see if this is our man. Oh, hold on. There we go. Mm, yoink. Shakespeare. Just like the book in the restaurant. <laughs> um, yoink. Agatha was my last chance. She's the only one who seems to understand what's happening to me. I just hope this time she'll give yeah, me Yeah, she's advice. the only one who gets me. By the way, who is she? Is she just old and blind? The police cruiser will be there in just a few minutes. Can you hear me, sir? 
Agatha. Overwrought. Got to take a quick piss before they get here. The cupboard is locked. You got to get the key, dude. You just put your fingerprints everywhere. Maybe if you feed the birds, the birds will be like, Meep. My email password. Meep. See ya. What's up? Anybody home? This is how I come into my apartment. Set that to food and uh, straight into the freezer for some pizza rolls. You want to put some music on? I feel like dancing. Why not, dude? Down, 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 down. Oh, never mind. Be Did you see the Beyond Two Souls album? My favorite. <laughs> the Beyond Two Souls soundtrack on vinyl. Featuring such hits as Aiden! Aiden, I need your help. Please help me, Aiden! I really need you right now. Open parentheses. Aiden. The killer's prints found on the murder weapon. And my prints on their prints. No doubt about it. The prints from the restaurant and the pen come from the same person. Nice. I saw the killer from the restaurant. Yeah. He saved a kid who was drowning in Central Park. The kid would have died without him. Just couldn't bring myself to arrest him after that. I just figured he'd earned a break. I'm really sorry. <laughs> oh, Possibly the worst me. police officer of all time. Thing in your place. <laughs> I figured he just I'll needed a break. Hmm, this is a tough one. How are we going to link these the together? The page mark corresponds exactly with the stock list found on Kane's desk. He definitely tore his bookmark from this page. This time, there's no reasonable doubt. Well, Luke that's not really for you to decide. Tyler, I'm warning you. If you leave me now, I will never forgive you. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, sorry, Sam, but this is really important. What about me? I'm not important. Tyler! You can at least, like, uh, comfort her a little bit. Like, I get maybe you gotta leave, but at the same time, he just walked out. Sorry, we're closed. Come back tomorrow. Oh, I won't be long. <laughs> oh, sorry. Satan really needs to do a load of juice right now. On behalf of the Prince of Darkness, I commandeer this laundromat. Whoa. What the hell is this? He's running across the street. What should I do, Carla? Stop him. We're coming. <laughs> Copy that. <laughs> the, the murder suspect's right in front of me. What should I do? Somebody died in the lava matic. So what? Him. The lava matic? It's a Mario Maker level? Put your hands in the air. Oh. They already found me. I'll spend the rest of my days rotting in prison, and I'll never find out what really happened. No. I'm it's ready. I'm ready. Like well, that is surprising. <laughs> what is he doing? He did he threw a Kamehameha? Oh my God! That's incredible, dude. Don't move, asshole. Don't move, asshole. Oh my god. It's actually the Matrix. He's dodging the bullets. He's dodging the bullets. This is incredible. <laughs> There's always a chopper, dude. Don't move. Please shoot an energy blast at the chopper. Oh. I'm just gonna be honest. And that's how my story ends. I didn't even see the prompt. <laughs> that is actually shot for shot a recreation of what the Dragon Lord does in Dragon Slayer Doppelganger. You could do like a 
a side-by-side -side comparison. But this did come out before Dragon Slayer Doppelganger. So I have a lot of questions for Mouth. Some of the arrows, they're honestly just hard to see. Because they're overlaid at like 50% opacity. See, that's the one that got me last time. This is honestly like almost exactly the same as the glaucoma test, and I'm not even messing with it. Oh crap. He's done it. Like the glaucoma test is just like, hey, press this buzzer when a light shows up in your peripheral vision. No. <laughs> what? Did you see what that guy just did? Shit, that's crazy. Ruka? Agatha? Agatha, is that you? I, I thought you were... Dead. Thought I was what? Why did they make me commit that murder? They've turned you into the instrument of a millennium. I told you! Extreme boomer energy! for them to see what's hidden. The boomers were behind it all along. Anything to get her. They just needed one man to kill another in order to open the mouth of the serpents. Still in hindsight, I shouldn't have made you wait a day to tell you this. Coming. Save yourself, Lucas. They want your life. Kuetnitla. In the ancient Mayan civilization. You'll find some of the answers you seek there. Dum, ticka dum. Ticka dum. Get ready. It's the bell gargoyles. And I've got no gold pine resin. You would think that if I was gonna get, oh jeez, rosaries anywhere, it would be here, but I'm still stuck on this one life setup. This is me and Mario Maker Endless dodging levels called Boss Rush or You Mad Bro. Skip. Boo. Boo. Oh, a level where you just hold right. Finally. <laughs> He's flapping, dude. Probably the greatest play I've ever made in any video game ever. Okay, lap two. Apparently this thing's stronger than a freaking helicopter. My ankle! I'm not supposed to be dropped on it! One of my favorite parts of these games is how, well, particularly this game, honestly, is how you literally, as the player, can't see what's happening because you have to focus on the prompts on the screen. You can't stay here. The police will certainly come to question me and probably place me under surveillance. 
I have to find Aren't you used to, to that since I'm a you're constantly being My watched over by the Lord? Everywhere. Agatha talked about the Mayans. It's vague, but it's all I've got to go on. I've got to find a place to hide while I figure this uh, out. One ticket to Central America, please. Call the two bodies through a window and call the cops. Put a hat on or something, man. It's Are minus five witnesses? Fahrenheit out here. No eyewitnesses. We checked around the neighborhood, but didn't turn up anything. This guy got lucky. He commits a double murder in front of a window. He sounds jealous. Yikes. A knife stuck in his eye. Death would have been instantaneous. Ah, I think the killer was wearing red shoes. Did you notice this blood over here? Yeah, I saw that. What do you think it means? That's a tough one. All right, pose for me, baby. <laughs> I want you to look relaxed. Uh, JPEG and one 3D model, huh? It must have come from this tool. I think I found the murder weapon. We can still hear the dial tone. She must not have had time to dial the Poor girl paid for the call and never got to make it. It's the real tragedy of this situation. Did you notice the key in the lock? Yeah, I saw that. There's no other way into this place. How did the killer get out? Doesn't make any sense. My god, he's absolutely right. It's he's the killer! The cameraman! Here's the victim's laundry. Who would have believed she wouldn't be alive to get it out when he was ready? Really brings home the gravity of the situation. I don't think Kane had anything to do with what happened at the laundrette. Oh, well, never mind. But all the same, there's got to be a link between the two murders. I hope that I could rest for a couple of hours at Tiffany's place. Get my energy back. Perhaps get some breakfast. What to do next? The drain pipe. Ah. Look at his superhuman strength and agility. <laughs> it's. You almost can't see him. At a blistering pace. All this to break into a place that is being monitored by the cops. Oh, and then those of you who asked the obvious question. You climbed up the pipe. What are you going to do now, dumbass? Your question has been considered. What goes up must come down. What are we supposed to believe he just materialized on the ground floor? I wasn't too proud about breaking into Tiffany's apartment like a common criminal, but I had no well, You're a murderer. I've eaten it almost a day. Oh Jesus Christ. Just a brief moment of respite for Lucas, I beg you. Oh, he knows the cops are coming. They're going to look under the bed. That was Tyler. I could tell by the fact that I couldn't see his torso because it was camouflaged. Pretty sure he just ate some crunchy Nutella right out of the jar. What is this asymmetrical and TV, for an dude? expert's point of view on the subject, uh, we have with us today one of the most renowned specialists on Mayan civilization, Professor Dmitry Kuryakin. High octane, standing still action. Time to see a nuanced depiction of mental illness. You've come to see Janos, isn't that right? He's down the second corridor on the right. The fourth. <laughs> oh, another power outage. It's the sixth time today. It's the sixth the time, time today. My hello, detective. <laughs> the scene is vaguely reminiscent of something, but I can't think of what it is. A man and a woman, in a laundromat. He knows. She's a little overweight. Well, that's ad hominem. looking. Him. He has a knife planted in his eye. How do you know Could that? I make it any How more obvious? I can see through his eyes. The killings won't stop until they 
found the little girl. Why? Why are they killing? Why? Oh, the world's not what you think it is. The Orange Clan are secretly running everything. They're watching us, listening to us all. Is he talking time. about the Dutch? They record what you say. They know what you're doing each second of the day. They want ultimate power. They want the answer to the question of life. They want to be eternal. It's the Lion I Baby <laughs> Clan. The end of humanity. <laughs> oh, it hurts to laugh, but we have fun here. And then the power goes out in the asylum. Everything go all right? I'll walk you to the... Damn it. This time it looks serious. That's the seventh time today. Back at... Oh, shit. The cell doors. All of the cell doors have been opened. <laughs> the elect... Professor Kiryakin? Yes? My name's John Cunningham. We spoke on the phone. I'm a journalist, and I'm gathering information for an article I'm writing about the Mayan religions. For my ah, GeoCities yes, website. Been wa what paper did you say you write for once again? Ah, yeah. National Geographic. No, New York Times, obviously. I write for the New York Times. The most complicated prompt. We got it. The New York Times is interested <laughs> in my work. Delightfully devilish, Seymour. There we You'll go. You'll see before you. The ancient Mayan god Quechnitlan, the serpent Bro. with the two heads. That's spaghetti. One head sees in this reality, the second in the other world. By opening both mouths, the Mayan oracles could see through the serpent into the other world. What exactly do we know about these oracles? If we can believe the ancient texts, the oracles possessed strange powers what kind well, of powers did the oracles possess some some sort of uh, superman-esque agility and strength how did the sacrificial ceremony work the victim was stabbed three times each wound cutting a pulmonary artery leading to the heart Oh, the Oracle must never soil himself with the blood of another. That is why he chooses a sort of proxy. I get it. Show forearms! <laughs> Have you ever seen this symbol before? <laughs> oh, it's the symbol of Quagnitlan. The executors cut this into their own forearms before accomplishing the sacrifice. So, it is true. My God. The Codex was right. Excuse codex? me? What are you talking about, Professor? You can't stay here. Your picture is in the paper that the security guard is reading. <laughs> you should recognize you. Come, let's leave. He's no. definitely dead. Extreme skirt. Um... Is he okay? Oh, my back! No. I'm not supposed to I'm supposed to get pushed by the executor. No. Nice dodge. Oh, I love it. <laughs> oh, he is absolutely dead. I've done it again. Oh, never mind. There's a real Stephen King sort of situation going on here. Incredible move. Oh, do we mean get ready? Walk away. Beautiful. Professor! The Codex speaks of the coming of a child. But why is he dead? I just pushed him! Life's questions. The Oracle kills to find the child. Unknown place. 40 degrees Celsius. Uh, I'm in Maya. I've been looking forward to meeting you. 
few men are capable of resisting an oracle. What Can you stop with the text-to-speech filter, please? The chroma. You have the chroma. Just throw some more words in me. That explains it. How did you ever acquire such a power? The chroma? What does that mean? The force that created the universe. The origin of everything. It gives extraordinary powers to those who possess it. Enough talk. Have at you. Other matters await my attention. If you we could just be dead by the time I'm back, that would be In great. The other world. Dun, 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 dun. It's Agatha. Those who employ the Oracle are searching for a little girl. A oh, nobody had mentioned that up to this point. Incarnated. You must find her before the Oracle does and put her someplace safe. I must inform you that we are unhappy. Very unhappy. So I have to do a quick time you. event to listen? Someone has intervened. What do you mean? While you were with him in the wave? Yes, my lord. Someone brushed aside all of my attacks on Cain and protected him. Exactly. It was not one of ours. Certainly not. No. I think it was something else. Oh my god. Please it's tell me ours. Agatha is like actually Different. some kind Another of clown? That's impossible. Only we are left. God we Arbiter arrival. or something like that. Like she has the highest power waiting. level they in the whole universe. Sleazy Hotel. Negative 26 degrees Celsius. The Oracle is in Marcus's church. There's not a moment to lose. I've got to warn him or he's dead. Or <laughs> he's dead. I never, he sounds like an average American man, except whenever he says dead, it freaks me out. He swore to us that he was in his room and he's not going to get away. We'll find the answer in room 369. Nice. 369. Here it is. I think that's 366 and the number's just upside down. Oh! Nobody go! Either he's gone through some changes since the photo, or this is not him. David! Tyler, it was the wrong room! Stop or I'll shoot. I think the bird has flown the coop. I'm gonna find him, Tyler. I promise you. Come on, let's go. He's Spider-Man. Lucas, you have to come over right now. He'll kill me if you don't come. I'm at the old amusement park. Please. I don't want to must be the wrong number. Now that I am not joking. So please. Don't delay. Tiffany, she's at the top of the roller coaster. I have to find a way up there. Oh my lord. David, you're too good to me. <laughs> oh, this is unbelievable. First stop, top of the roller coaster. Unfortunately, it's a one-seater. Enjoy your ride to the other world. Is it Clint Howard? I, dude, I gotta know. I know we're at 352. I gotta know. That's it. It's over. Now there's nothing to do but wait, though it shouldn't be long. Perfect. All has gone according to plan. I sense another signal. Cerebral spinal activity. I think he's dreaming. Not another Lucas Child segment, please. Wake up, Marcus. It's time. I don't trust anybody who sleeps in their glasses. Hurry up. We don't have much time. Are you sure you want to go, Lucas? It could be dangerous. Come on, let's hurry. The hangar's gonna be well guarded. We better get going if we don't want Mom and Dad to catch us. Oh, good. A well guarded hangar. 
Don't move or I'll shoot. <laughs> we, what the hell are you doing out here? In this wasted hour? literally no time. Don't move or I'll shoot. 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 It is very frustrating. Don't move or I'll shoot. <laughs> Don't move or I'll shoot. Dude, I'm gonna what tell you. What the hell you? are you doing out here in this hour? <laughs> Get back to your home immediately. I'm calling this stream. I can't. I'm gonna get maximum motion sickness. Is David okay?